Hi, this is Mahmoud Ahmad, and in this lecture, we will start designing our app using Qt Designer. Let's start. First, let's open Designer. I'll assume that you have BiQt5 already installed on your machine, but if you face any errors or you want to install BiQt5 on your machine, uh, I'll leave uh, the link of my article on Medium in the description so that you can follow and install by Qt5 and your machine. And if you have, if you face any errors, you can uh, post uh, a question in the discussion forums, and uh, I'll help you fix this error. Let's start. First of all, I'm gonna choose uh, main window, create. This is our download manager main window. Let's process it like this. We will start running our app in a simple way, then we will add the advanced features like animation, like design and so on. So let's start designing a basic download app. First, I'll drag a tab widget. Let's resize it like this. Good. Then we need a push button for downloading. This is a push button. Let's rename it to download, just like this. And we need also a line edit for the URL, just like this. And we need another, another line edit for the save location. So let's copy this and paste it again. Let's resize this like this. Yeah, this is great. And now we need to import a push button, another push button actually, for browse, so that you can pick the place you will save this. Uh, to, I'll call it, let's just be for now. We will change this to an icon letter. Yeah, just like this. Okay. And now we need the, a progress bar for showing the download progress. Let's get a progress bar from here. Maybe the, the, the UI of this widget is uh, way different from one OS to another, like if you, if you are using a Windows, this, this is going to be different from this that we can see here. And if you are using Linux, that's also going to be different from this UI here. Good. Let's save it. Control S or Command S if you are using Mac. And I'll create a new folder called Download. There is another folder with the name download. So let's see. Yeah. And I've got this main. This is our main UI. From for choose preview or press command R or, or control control R if you're using Windows. This is our main window right here. First we will type the link here like HTTP and so on. And this is the save location we need to, to, to figure a file dialog. Like if we press this browse button, uh, we can uh, navigate to our operating system and choose the folder we need to download this file on it. Then the, the boss of this folder will be here, like C and so on. And this is the download progress. This is good. Now we need to type a placeholder here, just to tell the user that this is the link to place. Move down, just do not forget to pick or to focus with the mouse on this line edit. Move down and choose this placeholder text. Here we will type uh, enter the URL here down or download link here yes. yeah that's for entering the download URL 
And here we will type use browse button to enter C application. Just like this. And this progress bar we need we need to set it to zero. Just like this. Yeah. Let's make this button a way bigger. Save it. And from keyboard, press Ctrl R, like this. This is our app now. Here we will paste, or we will enter a URL. And here we will use this, this browse button to save the save location. Then we will hit download, and this download progress will start. This is good. Now we need to add another tab. This tab for downloading from YouTube. And uh, in this tab, I'll drag another tab widget. Why we need a tab right here? We need a tab in the download from YouTube because we need a tab for downloading one video and another tab for downloading a whole playlist. So let's drag another tab widget. And using the code, we will hide this tab uh, head or total. In this step, I'll call this step downloading from one video and this one uh, full playlist. This will enable us to download one video and the other will enable us to download a playlist. Good. Let's reset it. Yeah, let's save it. Run. Now we have this step for downloading normal files and we have also this step for downloading one video or full playlist. This is great. Uh, and the one video playlist we will add a line edit for entering the video URL. Yeah, line edit. And also we well, copy this, paste it again for entering the save location, just like this. We need a button right here. You will create also B as a shortcut for browse and then we need the progress bar. Show the download progress. We need also a button for downloading, start to download. Start download. And we need a place for video resolution. Or video quality so we will add a label here and rename it for video quality yeah and we need here a combo box for choosing a quality like this okay and now we need to add another button here Let's command C or control C if you are using Windows. Command V, and this is for getting the video quality. Like, let's run it and I'll tell you. First of all, I'll paste the video link here, then I'll break this button, and this will get all the available resolutions or video quality and will add it to this combo box. Then I'll browse for the save location. Then I'll pick my the quality or the preferred quality for me. Then I'll click start download and the download will start. Awesome. Now we need to reset this progress bar for zero. Yeah. And we need also to add a placeholder here, like enter enter video URL
and here we will enter we will add uh, use browse button for save location and let's correct this mistake browse yeah and this is great let's save it now we have this UI the first step for downloading normal files I'll direct the link or the, the file link here then I'll use this button to browse the, the save location then I'll hit download and this progress bar will start moving telling me the download works and in the other tab we have two tabs one for downloading one video from YouTube and the other one for downloading a playlist the downloading one video takes a URL from us then I'll press get video data and when I press this button the video quality or the video resolution will be dragged on this combo box so I can browse for the save location and I can pick my preferred resolution then I'll hit start download this will download this video for me with the resolution or the video quality I picked for from this combo box this is great and I think this is enough for this video and the next one we will start designing the playlist tab and we will add some basic styling for our app see you next one